Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on using Moodle for your online Level 1 ITQ award. You will need to open up an internet browser and type the web address for the Moodle website. This is www.adulteducation.norfolk.gov.uk You then need to press enter. Once you are on the Adult Education website, you will need to enter your username into the username box and your password into the password box. Then click on the login button. When you have logged in, you will then see my courses on the right hand side. You will need to look through all the courses you are registered on and find the online ITQ Level 1 award. Click on this and it will take you to the course resources page. The first thing you should do is read through the aims and objectives section, the introduction section and the portfolio building section. Within the portfolio building section there are video tutorial links on how to get you started. You should ensure that you create the folders suggested to hold your work. If you are unsure on how to do this, the Creating Folders video tutorial will help you. When you are ready, it is suggested that you start with the Word Processing Unit. Scroll down to this section and download the Online Student Workbook Word Processing for the version of Office you have. If you have Acrobat Reader installed, clicking on the link will download the workbook file. Once the file is fully downloaded, you will then need to choose File and then save as and save this workbook within the practice folder you should have already created. This is why it is important to have your two folders ready before starting to obtain resources from Moodle. Once the workbook is saved you will then have regular access to it inside your practice folder. You may need to obtain a copy of the additional evidence form from Moodle. When you have found it under the word processing unit you need to click to open it and press the save button. You will then be asked to choose where you would like to save it on your computer. Once you have found where you want to save your file you need to press the save button. Once the file is fully downloaded you will then need to press the close button. The file should now be saved on your computer for you to use later when you are ready. Thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial has been helpful.